that's sort of one of our least experienced groups. <laughs> Are you seeing kind of some strides from the spring early in training camp and what are you learning? Yes, I am. You know, I'm, I'm pleasantly, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with the progression right now. You know, I think it, you know, we got a lot of a long way to go. By no means am I saying that we've arrived at any point, but um, they've progressed and uh, you know their progress is, is pretty good. You seen anyone from that group step up and make a case for being you know with the starters, A team, whatever you want to call them? Well, you know, our whole concept is just being above the line. You know, we're not going to say who's the starter. You know, guys are going to play. Whoever's hot that day is going to roll with it. Um, so right now, you know, I would say probably the biggest standout would be uh, Daquan Henderson. You know, if I had to say someone that's really standing out, but he's mature, has some more game experience. He's a senior, I think. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we did, so naturally he's got this more experience, more football experience, and um, he's standing out and having a pretty good camp. So, but other than – and that, you know, even even with him, the whole group, I can't say who's going to be a starter day one just yet. In terms of, I guess, your game plan going into the season, do you have a number in mind for how many guys you want to have ready, or what a rotation would look like? Are you guys looking four or six guys? Kind of any idea, sort of, what that looks kind of like? Well, right now we're just working through who are going to be the guys that we feel like we can count on. You know, if it's two, <laughs> it might just be two. If it's eight, then it's eight. It's just a matter of who we – so we can trust, which, like I said, it's still early in camp. We still got a lot of work to do. So at this point, it, again, it's just hard to say exactly how many because um, we're still a work in progress. To what degree are you kind of, you know, putting all their eggs into your basket to see if they, you know, do well, just kind of by their um, their skill set. You know, what I mean, you know, we, we, you know, the guys that are kind of like that, you know, quasi tweener, outside linebacker, defensive end type, you know, putting them in those type of positions and those guys are a little bit more stout with pretty much playing like defensive ends. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just more so their skill set and what they can handle. Some guys are doing both, you know. So it's just it just depends on the, you know, what the, the young man's skill set and what he all with all he can actually handle. Coach Becker was talking a little bit about Anthony Fulton coming along and he's kind of seeing that kind of physically the physical presence. Is that something that you've seen him in and where he's fit really with that deep spring? Is that really at all what's going to be his fit? Well, just like Jaquan, you know, he's just got a lot of football experience, you know, and so with that, you know, he can set a good example and understand that he's played in football games, big games, you know, he's a Georgia, Florida game, you know, he's played in, you know, and so he understands what's going to happen come day one where a lot of these guys have not had that experience. And so the way he goes out and works and things like that, he sets a good example for the rest of the group. You got a bunch of young guys now in preseason practice. How are they adapting to what you're trying to do? They're doing good. Like I said, they, they're, they're very receptive. I mean, they're like sponges, you know, but just like, you know, any freshman, red shirt freshman, you know, they got a ways to go. You know what I mean? And, and, you know, and sometimes, sometimes I have to um, – not lose sight of where they are in their development. They're doing well. They're working hard. I mean, I tell you, they I probably have one of the hardest working groups out there. There's not a problem with effort, but just again, you know, the, the lack of experience, which is you know to be expected. I mean, a freshman, redshirt freshman. Even me, when I was a redshirt freshman, you know, <laughs> I didn't know what the heck was going on. Um, but they're they're working hard, and I, and they are progressing day to day. In the spring. <coughs> Well, he's been doing good. Like I said, we've been, you know, kind of had a little, um, you know, little, little bumps and bruises here. Kind of held him out a little bit, just make sure he's healthy. But Kelton has had a great start to the camp for the past couple of days. Like I said, just kind of protecting him because, you know, he is someone that has shown a lot of promise that, you know, we would probably be looking to, just, you know, have or count on during the course of the season. So he's been doing really well. And he's another one that's, that's shown a lot of maturity from what I've heard from the past. And um, and I like it again. You know, it's really not a matter of um, the effort or you know the work that they're putting in. It's just the you know again, even Kelton being a sophomore, he doesn't have a lot of playing experience. Um, so he's working hard and, and getting better every day, and, and definitely happy with the, with his progress also. And Kenyon, how has he been more on maturity, or he's always been mature? Well, he's just game. You know, so he's been a mature young man. You know, from you know since we've been here. You know, we got here, and it's not only him. Our whole room, you know, George.
Jordan, Dominic being a redshirt freshman, Justice Dingo, Curtis Ryan, Luke, they're all redshirt freshmen. So we came in January, they didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the way things were going before we got here, it was different. And so over the course of the past few months, you've seen a change in the way that they go about doing things, the way they handle, you know, instruction and the extra work that they put in. That's what I mean by maturity, doing things beyond just what I'm prescribing, doing extra, you know. That's the maturity I'm speaking of, you know, so. <coughs> How much of any of you giving uh, in terms of being able to give more than you have given in your first year in the role as a director? Well, you know, we can't actually work with them, you know, so I actually put some things, just working on hands, you know, placement, footwork, you know, and, you know, hands, you know, leverage and things of that nature, just little drills that we do, you know, like in individual periods that they could continue to work on throughout, throughout the summer. So Luke had to kind of catch up even obviously without Justice playing in, mm -hmm. in terms of is he kind of like at square one a little bit with you guys? Not really because he had, um, you know, he started the spring and he got injured, but he was in every meeting, you know, so he definitely has a grasp of the playbook and he's been doing fine. You know, he's been doing a good job and, and getting better each and every day. So. A couple more for Coach Coleman. <coughs> so then just <laughs> guys new to football, what's the mm -hmm. tell of How's that experience been for you as a coach and then also how's he been? He's been doing really well. You know, again, like I say, he hasn't had a lot of experience just in the game at all. And, you know, but every day you see him get better and better and better. I mean, you know, physically, you know, he's, he's a grown man, you know, but just his uh, understanding of the game, the more reps he gets is the best for him. And that's what we've been doing, making sure you get as much football in as possible. You know, we still got a long time with him too. You know, I mean, he's just a freshman. You know, he may say, you know, he's old. He's an older guy, but he's still, he's still got four years of football. You know, to have him. So, I'm not trying to force these guys to be seniors right now, but understanding that they, just as long as we can just continue to make progress. You know, I'm fine. You know, I know we're gonna make mistakes as freshmen, but um, but I do hold them to a, a pretty high standard um, because of the expectation that they're going to have to play. Um, but they're doing a good job of accepting it, accepting the challenge and going out and working. Coach mentioned <coughs> wait until the second week to look at some of the younger kids to see about maybe trying them somewhere else. Or do you see anybody that maybe, hey, I'd like to have him at defensive end or that's maybe inside right now? No, nah, because I got my hands full with just the, the ones I got right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so right now I think I don't, I, we haven't um, discussed anyone that I know of right now. I have no thoughts of it at this point in time. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. All righty. Thank you.